peace to all the people out there in YouTube land. This is No Mortgage God coming back at you again to discuss some things about mortgage science, nationality, proper law, sovereignty, and all this other stuff out here that's going on in the world of madness. You know what I'm saying? Lately, it's been a lot of people from the Moorish Science Temple been in the newspaper and been saying that a lot of brothers are not Moors if they are not part of a Moorish Science Temple and that they don't have a nationality if they're not part of a Moorish Science Temple. So this video that I'm making today, we're going to expose some of the contradictions and some of the mythology of the Moorish Science Temple uh, Holy Quran, a uh, Holy Quran, all right. And as you can see before me, this is the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America. They say it was divinely prepared by the Prophet Noble Drali, all right. With these temple moors, or uh, these moors that's inside the Moorish Science Temple, is saying in the news media that uh, if you don't come and basically worship or uh, deify Nova Dry Lee, then you are not a Moor. You don't have a nationality, you know what I'm saying? So it brings me to break down these five questions of what the Moorish Science Temple is, you know what I'm saying? So right here in the Moorish Quran, we're going to open it up and we're going to go to this is page 58 of the Moorish Quran. We're going to go to page 58 of the Moorish Quran where it says uh, every subordinate temple of the Grand Major Temple is to form under the covenant of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice and create their own laws and customs in conjunction with the laws of the Holy Prophet and the Grand Temple. I, the Prophet Noah Dry Lee, was sent by the great God Allah to warn all Asians of America to repent from their sinful ways before that great and awful day which is sure to come. Alright? Then it also says on page 59 in the Moorish Science uh, Temple, uh, Holy Quran, so you see I got right there, uh, it says the Moorish Science Temple of America is a lawfully chartered and incorporated organization. Any subordinate temple that desires to receive a charter, the Prophet has them to issue to every state throughout the United States, etc. Alright? Now, in the Moorish, in the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, it clearly states that the Moorish Science Temple is a incorporated now. As an incorporated, is a charter and incorporated organization. It says nothing about the nation. They say they're incorporated in a charter. Okay. Now, when we deal with Jewish proof, uh, the legal terminology of what a corporation is and what a charter is, it says that a charter is an instrument immaculated from the sovereign people in the nature of a grant either to the whole nation or to a class or portion of the people or to a colony or dependency and assuring to them certain rights and liberties or powers such was, was the great charter or magna charter and such also were the charter grant to certain uh, to certain to the certain of the English colonies in America. A charter differs from a constitution in that the former is granted by the sovereign while the latter is established by the people themselves. Alright, now in the Moorish Science Temple Quran, in the Holy Quran in the Moorish Science Temple, which I just read on your 50, page 59, it says that they are a, they are a in, uh, incorporated, a uh, chartered and incorporated organization. Alright? And the definition of a charter is a charter is a grant, an instrument, which is a negotiable instrument that's given by the sovereign power. Okay? And that is dependent on certain rights and certain liberties. Okay? 
A corporation is an artificial person, a legal entity created by and under the authority of the laws of a state or nation, composed in some rare instance of a single person and his successors, being the incumbent of a particular office but ordinary consistent of an association of numerous individuals who subsists as a body police under a special denomination which in regard in law as having a personality and existence in this and an existence distinctness from that of its several members of which he is by the same authority vested with the capacity of continuous succession irresponsible changes in his membership either in perpetual or for a limited term of years and of acting as a unit of single individual in matters relating to common purpose of the association within the scope of the powers and authorities conferred upon such bodies by law. All right? So if the more sounds simple is a charter and incorporated organization, and a charter comes from the sovereign power, and a corporation is an artificial entity that's acting as sovereign, my question to the Moors Science Temple, since these cats is getting in the media and saying that brothers are not Moors that don't join the Moors Science Temple, I want to know who gave you your charter, why did your prophet, who you say is Noah Drali, file documents with Cook County, why did he file charters with the state of Illinois? Are you telling me that Cook County was a sovereign power? Are you telling me the state of Illinois is a sovereign power? That's one question that I have for the Morris Science Temple regarding their Morris Quran. But you stay tuned. There's more to come. Peace.